Play not disappointing in the fact that we did play. I, I still hats off to our medical staff, uh, to Gene Taylor and his group for allowing us to keep going and keep playing. And um, it wasn't the outcome that we wanted. Um, and we didn't play particularly well. I know that what what the guys have gone through the last month to five weeks trying to prepare to play. And we can't make excuses. The guys that played, um, we're counting on to play and have success and, and make plays when they have the opportunities. And uh, um, I said to the guys in the locker room, this is the kind of adversity we're going to face all year, not knowing who's going to be in, not who, knowing who's going to be out. But that's that's reality. That's that's the dealt, hand we're dealt. And you have to be prepared to, to tee it up and play. Um, you know, that being said, I appreciate the resolve. I uh, appreciate a number of guys that uh, probably didn't anticipate uh, playing, even though we knew the guys that were out. We had a lot of guys uh, get banged up in the game that had to step up. We were down to our third team center. Uh, I thought Hayden Gillum did a great job. Uh, down to our, our third team safety, uh, I thought Ryan Hennington did a great job. Uh, but all that being said, um, it, it's it's frustrating when you, when you take a loss and, and you feel like, um, mistakes and stuff that, that we knew you're going to have them in the first game. Then you throw in the fact of the lack of practice time and stuff. Um, you know, it, it was frustrating for us. I thought he was too good today. Uh, a couple times we didn't have our, our back to we had our back to the football and and didn't turn back and make a play. And then uh, you know two of the touchdowns he had we we had good vision on him and he went over the top of us and and made a play. And then the last play um, we were trying to double him and and we kind of fell off a of coverage and can't do that against a really good player. And uh, give that kid credit. Yeah, he's. He's a phenomenal player, and, and uh, we need to be better. And then just, uh, I know it's, it's very quick here, but do you have any early updates on, on Lane Jones? How he, uh, he was moving his extremities, which I was really, really pleased with when I was out there. Um, I, I don't know quite where all the injury was, but they were more concerned with um, head, neck, back, those things. But he had feeling in his hands, had feeling in his toes and feet. So... Um, same prayers for Wayne. He's one of my favorite guys. Just absolutely love him uh, and the player and person he is, and, and uh, hopefully he'll be okay. Hey, Chris, the offense just seemed to be a little out of sync all day. What would you attribute that to? A variety of things, Kellis. You know, um, we didn't block enough, well enough up front uh, is the first thing. Um, I think everybody could see uh, after after the the play at about the two yard line where Skyler got hit, he struggled to move around after that. Um, I don't, it wasn't a severe injury. Obviously, he was able to play, but he wasn't didn't have the same mobility um, as as he typically does. Um, you know, once again, we have to make plays. I, I know there's some receivers that aren't out there, but. The guys that are out there, we, we have to make plays. And we had a couple of opportunities to make big plays, and we didn't. Uh, and that's what it comes down to. The bo bottom line is whether it's uh, their wide receiver going up and catching 50-50 balls or us making a play anywhere, um, we, we have to make more plays, and we just didn't do that today. They also had some success with trick plays. But when that happens as a coach, how, how do you react? Well, frustrating on, on the second one because we called it out and actually had a really good call and, and um, uh, didn't make the play. The first one, uh, inexperience, I'll just say that. I inexperience in the secondary was the first one. Well, it has to be better as a whole. Um, we didn't uh, win the line of scrimmage. Uh, <clears throat> it hurt us when we lost Noah Johnson in the first series. 
for for the for essentially the game because he's our leader and our guy at center. And uh, then we tried to have Ben move to center and flip the line lineup around. Noah tried to come back in, knew he couldn't snap the ball, so he tried to play some guard. Then he figured out he couldn't do it. Um, and then we brought in Hayden. Once again, I thought Hayden Hayden Gillum did a nice job, uh, but. You know, we just didn't we just didn't move them. Bottom line, we just didn't block well enough. We didn't communicate well enough. And um, for us to be successful, we have to play better up front. And those guys know that. And and, and that's I mean, hey. And once again, we don't, we're not pointing any fingers. It's not just the old line. We we every every position has to play better. It was. I, I asked Mess and, and Colin because the kid was trying to fight through it, and I said, "Hey, let's." And we had so many quarterback run things scheduled to be run, and Skyler couldn't do it, so we just weren't calling them, and they were teeing off on us. And I asked him. I said, "Hey, let's let's just put Will in, um, give Skyler a little bit of a rest." I, I I didn't mind seeing Will. I just want to see him anyway. Um, because he's done some really good things. And, and so we just said, hey, we're going to start. If it was going to get to a third down, we were going to put Skyler back in. We wanted him for two snaps. Uh, obviously, they blitzed us on the one play, and, and they get a tackle for loss on Will, which was good for he, for him because he got a chance to get hit as a, as a as a true freshman. But then he threw a rope uh, to Jackson Ean on the next play, which I was excited to see for him because, uh, you know, for a, a young player like that to come in in a, in a college game and say, I got smacked the first play, and I could stand in there and, and take and, and throw the ball and make a good play. I was really happy for that. And then, you know, we just Skyler started to get a little bit uh, loosened up, and so um, make no make no mistake, Skyler's the quarterback, and he's the guy. We just wanted to see Will try to get Skyler stretched out and get him healthy. And how much of a bright spot was was Deuce Vaughn today for you offensively? Well, we knew he would be. Uh, it was he's a he's a really good football player that's learning our system and learning how to play. Uh, love love his mentality, how he attacks every day when he comes out there. We were going to find ways to to get him the football, and so I, I was really pleased with Deuce. You, you, everybody can see why when when the kids in the game, everybody's kind of excited, like ooh, there's something special that could happen. You know, I've been reflecting on that pretty much all week, um, and I was nervous up until 4:30 or 5 o'clock on Friday that we would even be playing this game, and that's that's unfortunate that we're in that situation. But everybody's in that situation, and so I was excited for the guys. There's just a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety on the guys of Are we going to play? Are we going to play? And unfortunately, that's going to happen on a week-to-week -week basis. You're going to see more cancellations, unfortunately. Um, until we get this spread under control. Uh, but just to have the kids to have the opportunity when a lot of other people aren't. And that's what I also told them. Guys, be blessed we had the opportunity. Be thankful for the people that gave us this opportunity. And I thought our fans were phenomenal. And, and we will be better. Uh, I, I know we'll be a better football team as the season goes on. Uh, I, I'm not happy with the performance today. None of our guys are. But I'm, I'm also smart enough to realize that it was going to be sloppy. Uh, no way it's not. We missed so much time and so many workouts and so much. But all that being said, you have the opportunity to play. You need to be able to perform. I'm sorry, I missed your question. Um, no, Jerron had been battling some things and, and tried to play. Uh, and then his backup was unavailable today. Uh, and um, so you know, we moved Henny. Um, and Ryan Hennington did a, did a, did a great job um, trying to play his tail off. I love Ryan Hennington. And I can sleep well at night knowing that Ryan Hennington's given everything he can. Ryan just needs more snaps and more experience as a free safety and, and so Ryan's going to continue to get better but I was pleased with Ryan to go in in a tough situation of not taking a, a ton of reps there 
um, because you lose the top two guys, and, and he played. And uh, uh, I know he's disappointed. Uh, there's That's the thing. I, I'm frustrated because I know what it means to that kid, and I love the kid. Um, and uh, uh, I thought Henny battled his tail off.